Self-actualization requires a decision to be made and action to be taken. And it's up to each one of us to choose to be the best possible version of ourselves. Warada Hartley believes that fitness and wellness are essential elements of this process, but the story isn't limited to the physical. She sees yoga as a means of attaining self-mastery, and Kriya met up with Warda to learn more about it. Not that long ago, Warda Hartley was a high-profile TV and radio personality. Then her son arrived, and Warda took her passion for fitness and wellness to a new level. She stepped up her game and advanced in leaps and bounds. We all strive to reach self-realization, our full potential, and Warda Hartley is doing just that. She's moved from being a news anchor and fitness blogger to now opening up her very own fitness practice, and we get to spend the day with her. Warda, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, and you? Good, thank you. This is absolutely amazing. Tell me more about it. It's a beautiful space all focused around movement. I am Fabi Fit Yoga and Movement and then there's a Pilates teacher as well as a physiotherapist. And if you follow me, we'll show you some more. This is the Pilates area. These are the reformer machines that the Pilates instructor uses. And then these are the therapy rooms for the physiotherapy. So if you needed some rehabilitation, this is where you would come to help heal. It's quite a move for you going from being a news anchor to now being involved with fitness. Yes, it's quite a departure from what I used to do. I needed an outlet to de-stress and calm down and exercise was that outlet. So I started training women and this space became available and it just seemed like the perfect fit to grow my business and to start teaching yoga classes and introduce more women to yoga. So I'd like to introduce you to my style of yoga. Would you like to join us? I'd absolutely love to. Great, let's go. Hi guys, this is Kriya. She's gonna be joining us today for the class. Let's start with some breathing, some pranayama to get centered for this class. I really want to hear that sound as you take a deep breath in and exhale through your nose. You're going to come to lie on your mat, soles of our feet together into a Baddha Konasana pose, palms facing up. You're going to take your hands, bring your knees together, start rocking back and forward, coming all the way up. And from there, you're gonna rock all the way up into a standing position. Arms rise up. Bring to prayer position through heart center. Beautiful. It's been quite a journey for you, starting off as a fitness blogger to now kind of reaching self-realization. When I launched FabuFit as just this creative outlet to talk about what I love, which is health and wellness, I never dreamed that would manifest itself now into helping women with health and wellness. And it's been amazing to see how this journey that's been filled with ups and downs has come full circle from just being this creative outlet to now being a fully fledged fitness business. You then went into a new phase in your life. You became a new mom and then started helping mums as well. A lot of women are very overwhelmed with trying to find a new routine as this person with this new role added to already career woman, wife, everything else that comes with your life. And I decided to use my outlet to write about it and to talk about it. And I was so surprised as to how many women came out and they said, wow, I'm so glad somebody feels the way I feel. I thought I was the only one suffering from postpartum depression, struggling with the weight gain and feeling guilty because you're comparing yourself to people on social media, you're having that snapback body, thinking you're supposed to look your old self in two months, which is not always the case for the large majority of women, and it's okay. If you had a message for women out there, and I know that you do, what would it be? I would say the most important thing, stop comparing. We're all running our own race, we all doing our own yoga practice. So always come back to your mat, to where you are. And the minute you do that and you celebrate what is beautiful about you, you're gonna feel a lot better about yourself and therefore you're more likely to feel more comfortable in your skin and to also get along better with other women around you because you feel more confident in who you are as a woman. 